it says $600,000 plus. This is the amount of money that the taxpayers in New Hope and Solbury, um, uh, Pennsylvania, pay every year, above and beyond, above and beyond, I'm saying it twice, what they would legally have to pay. Now they pay school taxes, but this is extra. They call it extra duty responsibilities, where the teachers, they will uh, run clubs, they'll do the sports. Now I'll tell you something, even though I'm a retired uh, a taxpayer, I'm living on a fixed income, I don't mind paying my fair share of this. Uh, but what I would like in return is accountability. I want to know, I don't, don't just want to know the name of the person doing it. I don't want to know uh, how much money he's making. Uh, I don't want to know the name of the activity. What I want to know is how many sessions, how many times is he dealing with the kids? Right? I want to know how many kids. Can you imagine a guy has a club and there's two kids in a club? I mean, I'm throwing out of my money and the taxpayer's money. So there has to be some kind of uh, number there. Now, uh, every August and every September, one or the other, the school district makes a listing of the 180 um, EDRs, the extra duty responsibilities. And uh, what I see is the name, I see the amount of money, and I don't, and the, the activity. Now let me give you an example. In elementary school, there is a teacher who has four EDRs. They're called um, intramurals. He has it for soccer, flag football, basketball, and floor hockey. All right, and uh, it's $1,062. Doesn't sound like much, right? Well, lo and behold, one day, he happened to put the whole breakdown on the web. Terrific. For each one of these activities, he gets $1,062. But, let me read to you. This is pretty recent, April 9th, 2018. Quote, we are pleased to offer after-school intramural sports participation in New Hope Sobury uh, for elementary uh, students. Okay, and I see here for the fourth grade, boys and girls, six sessions of floor hockey. Fifth grade, boys and girls, six sessions. Together, 12 sessions. So I take out my calculator and I said, I can't believe what I'm getting in. I went over and over and over again. Uh, 1,062. Well, you divide that by 12, you get $88.50. Now, to be fair, this session is 50 minutes long. The sessions in the school, even during the day, are 45 minutes. So I prorated everything, and rather than 88.50, he was getting paid at the rate of $79.65, or $80 a session. But what is 80? Is it too much? Is it too little? So I did some calculating. Uh, if a teacher is absent, a teacher is absent, and they can't get a sub, they'll get another teacher in the school to cover him for 45 minutes. He gets 40 bucks, not 80. 40 bucks. All right. We have sports, right? So there's somebody collecting money at the football game. Football games are rather long, and it's about three sessions, and that person still getting, gets $80, but divide it by three, you get $28. So the guy, uh, intramural, and the element, he's doing very well for himself. And let's take something else, and this is a mind blower. The teachers just ratified their contract for another two or three years. And they're gonna, the top salary, a person with all his degrees and about 15 years of teaching, will be making $119,000. Well, the $119,000 divided by 1,440 periods throughout the year, uh, it comes to $83. Just $3 more than the guy uh, who's doing the intramurals. Now, the guy who's doing the intramurals, he doesn't make $118,000. He's getting paid at that rate, understand? Actually, he's getting paid at the rate of $115. $115,000. So, in conclusion, what I want to point out is this. To be um, accountable, A, for all these clubs and sports, put down the minimum number of students that the school district feels is uh, necessary in order to run the club. I don't want one or two. Also, put down the amount of money um, or the number of sessions. If you have two or three sessions, no good. You have to have more, okay? And I want that, that money that that guy's been paying, uh, $80, uh, $80 a session, you've got to cut it in half. And I want you to know, from time to time, look at the video, look underneath, see if there are any comments about that. Because if there is an update from the school board, I'll certainly put it in. And that's it for now.